it is our son's birthday today. We are just about to leave to the hospital to go and have him and um, I'm really nervous. I am 37 weeks and five days. This is my bump and um, I'm just actually recovering from a cold. So uh, great day to have a C-section. Excited dad? Yeah, can't wait. Can't wait to meet your son. Yeah, long time coming, but no, we're here, so all good. Okay. Let's go. Just checked in and we got to our room. We are going private this time, but just out at our local hospital in Ballarat. So it's nothing special, but I'll show you my room. Okay, so it's just bed, couch, and bathroom in there. Um, is there a fridge over there? Yeah, fridge. That's a fridge. This is for baby. There's a little wardrobe in there we've got a nice little view over here of construction <laughs> sink fridge yeah that is pretty much it so i'm feeling really nervous there's probably like half an hour to go before we go and i'm just like really nervous i think because like the first one you don't really know what to expect. And then the second one is just like, last time I was like shaking like a leaf on the table and I was vomiting and everything and I'm just scared and you have to have a big needle in your back and oh, I'm just like really nervous. I just I have to think of like being excited to meet him, I guess. Dr. Dean over here. What did you just that, say? I said the best thing about is being a doctor, being a doctor, they get or a nurse. It's like a track, a track suit. Just track suit. Just a track suit. Just a tracky set. How comfy is this? Yeah. Not all though. Sure, they suit up at some point. Yeah. Cute. So we've got our little man. This is Enzo, and he was born at what time? 10, 10 14. and it's now about 12.30. We're back up in our room and the C-section went a lot better than last time. Last time I was like shaking and vomiting and this time I was just shaking a bit and yeah, he was three and a half kilos and he's doing really well. His sugars so far were fine and yeah, I'm never going through that again. So just a reminder to myself, that this is the last baby <laughs> because the c-section is not fun <laughs> yeah we're doing pretty well my parents are going to come up soon and visit and then we're waiting to hear back from dean's mum she didn't answer the phone <laughs> so yeah um i wish i felt a bit better but tomorrow will be a much better day I look like a complete mess, but it's like seven o'clock the next day. I made it through the night. I felt so sick last night. They gave me like an IV and everything because I just, I couldn't keep anything down. Like I was just throwing up. Um, but I feel a lot better today. I feel a bit weak, but we just ordered some breakfast. And then afterwards we're gonna get up and take the catheter out and have a shower. And hopefully I will feel better. I look like a hot mess right now. He was having a bit of trouble like latching and stuff yesterday and then this morning he fed for like an hour. I don't know how much colostrum I have at this point. I think I'm a little bit dry, so, um, but he did really, really good. I'm like so proud. <laughs> Hi, ready to meet your brother? You ready to meet him? Sweet, babe. Do you know what his name is? It's Enzo. You say Enzo? Can you say hello, Enzo? Oh, is this for Enzo? Oh, thank you. Do you want to show him what you got him? Pick him out. There we go. Little reindeer. Yeah. 
You were smaller than that. And then you grow up to be as big as you are now. You look very beautiful, Daisy. Did you want to have a cuddle with him? Yeah. Yeah. Can I have a cuddle? Oh, I missed you. Hmm? Daddy will get him out and you can have a little cuddle with him. Good? I know. He loves you too, babe. You happy to meet him? He's happy to see you. Okay. Can you, you give him back? I'll take him. You did really well then, babe. Want a family cuddle? Family cuddle? I love you. I love you all. Mm -hmm. You want to cuddle him again? Yeah. He's just a baby. Isn't he cute? Little tiny baby. He did really well. Hey, he got your present too. Did you know that? Yeah. Daddy can go get it. This is from Enzo to you, Dad. Yeah. Can you open it? Yeah. Do you know what this is? It's a bath book. Yeah, so you can read it in the bath together. What's that? Oh, you got to the main one, Who's that? Peter Rabbit. It is Peter Rabbit. Is that what you wanted? Another, a new Peter Rabbit so then he can have your other one? Yeah. Yeah? Do you remember how to run Good job, babe. There's a new book to read in the bar. Yeah. Got you this lovely little skirt as well. Oh. Enzo. His name's Enzo. We call him Enzo Daisy. Yeah. Love you. Is that good? Our family's all together now, babe. <laughs> so we just had Daisy come in and meet Enzo and now we're all having a little snack. The hospital was so lovely and gave us a little platter. I'll show you. So Dean Which and Daisy are just... We've eating. attacked it. Yeah. There's some olives in there, some salami and... I don't know if you can see that. And well, that was it. Hmm? Yeah, just salad, yeah. carrot and three cheeses and ham and... Yeah. Sun-dried tomatoes. And you got to meet your baby brother, didn't you? He will in a few days with mummy. He's just sleeping over there. Daisy's moving me up on the bed. <laughs> See ya! Alright. Don't you pick her up. Daisy, you gotta go down now. Go down. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't even see her. I'm so high. She's on the tippy toes. Is she? <laughs> is that fun? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it is our third day. I just had night two in hospital and um, it was not a great night. Um, 
he was like pasta feeding last night and then um, I was just exhausted and they offered to send him to the nursery so I did for a bit and then brought him back and fed him again and then he wouldn't settle again <laughs> and yeah he's having a bit of trouble with his latching he's got like a bit of a shallow latch so it's just been really hard and I can see why I went home after two nights last time with Daisy because if you're at home then hubby can help hubby's just there Dean's just there to help and do, you know, whatever I need, whenever. Um, whereas, you know, like, the nurses are great, don't get me wrong, but it's just, like, you have to call them and you feel bad and stuff. Um, but, yeah, he just tried to feed this morning and he was doing really good last night and then not so good and now not so good this morning. So, this is really frustrating that you just have to wait it out because he's learning and I'm learning about him and it's very different to Daisy um, and how yeah, she was just a piranha. She ate me alive. Just in a little bit of a funk at the moment, but doing my best. And he's so cute though, like he's really, really cute little dude. Love them. Maybe you're gonna I don't think I've seen her smile so hard. So I'm into day four of my hospital stay. Um, it's about six o'clock in the morning and I just fed Enzo. Um, here's something people probably don't talk about too much, but I think my breastfeeding journey is over, which I set out like with very minimal expectations. And he kind of, I feel like he decided it for me because He's not latching on my boob <laughs> and that feels like yeah that decision's made for me and I understand there's so many resources out there to help and time and everything but I just feel like I'm okay with that decision even though if you ask me I'll cry about it it hasn't been easy but yeah newborn life is hard enough recovering from c-section is hard and then having daisy at home and everything and i just yeah breastfeeding is just a whole nother thing and there'd be so many people out there in a similar situation like this and it's totally okay whether you want to try and push through which is what i did last time with daisy and ruined my mental health um <laughs> or you know when it's time to stop and I think I know so yeah I look like a bloody mess right now um but yeah I um fed his best and yeah whatever works for you and your family and and your baby and, and yeah We are just about to head home. It is Saturday today and I just took some more cute photos in his little dash mark blanket and hat. And he's got this like really cute little 
Puppy dog onesie on from um, Target. So cute. It was Daisy's favorite one. So I wanted to bring him home in that. Um, but yeah, it's nearly lunchtime on Saturday and heading home. I'm so, I've been a bit homesick to be honest. So it'd be really good to get home and get settled. So yeah, there. This is all Enzo. He's a dream boat, by the way. Cute little baby, and he's so good. <laughs> Look there, see? It's all the way in. Good job, Days. Well done. Well done, baby brother. You're doing a, you're doing a really good job, guys.